Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video here. It's a uh, Sunday afternoon, and I've decided to take a look at this computer that um, I got for free. Somebody gave it to me. They were moving out and giving away all their stuff. So I got a Dell Optiplex 380 series, I think it is. And pretty old computer has a Core 2 Duo. Um, I'm not sure the, the processor number. I know it's like 2.9 gigahertz, but it's a pretty old computer. And now what I wanted to do was I wanted to install the old graphics card that I had on my uh, my other Dell, my newer computer that I had upgraded. If you check out my first video on my page, I upgraded my older, my other Dell with a GeForce 1050 Ti, and I'm not really sure. I, I forget what card this is. I think it's the G, the GT 620 or something. I don't know, but it's a pretty weak card. Um, but it should be good enough to um, upgrade this one, which doesn't have an onboard onboard graphics well it has onboard graphics but it doesn't have a you know a dedicated card so I'm gonna be putting that in there I'm also gonna be upgrading the RAM I'm going to put some uh, I'm gonna upgrade it to 8 gigabytes I think that's the maximum this can support so I got two 4 gig sticks here it's not the ballistics this is actually the old RAM from my other computer and if you again check out my uh, my first video on the channel and you'll see well not the first video but one of the first videos and you'll see I had upgraded my uh, RAM to ballistics by crucial all right so first thing we want to do is just pop this off and I think you just pop these out like that like so Probably have to pop both of them out. Those, I don't know. Doesn't really matter to me. I'll just pop both of them out. No big deal. Then, simple. I really hope that this actually fits in there. All right. So I got it in there. It's you know. It's sticking out kind of weird to fit this kind of card it's like you can probably forget about it it's in the slot so it should work even though the ports are kind of covered a little bit I just I'm just doing this just for hoo has and we got the RAM sticks over here you see how cluttered it is in here it's, it's pretty crazy this RAM even though the uh, Crucial website says that this RAM is compatible, it's really not. Um, these Dell 380s, they don't support um, the high density chips. So just to recap here, I installed the GT620, which is a very low end car, it only has a gigabyte. But it's a dedicated GPU, it's better than the onboard graphics that is on this computer and the RAM it only has four gigabytes of RAM I tried to install my old RAM for my other computer which was four gigabytes times two which is eight so I couldn't do that because apparently these Optiplex 380s they don't support high density RAM chips only the old low density and how can you tell if it's high density or low density so it, so you see there's eight on this side it's covered by the sticker but there's four here there's and there's four here and there's four here so these are high density and the low density is actually gonna have four here four here and then when you flip it over it's gonna be four here four here again so those are the low density ones and apparently the optiplex does not support high density and that's why they don't work because on the crucial website it does say that it, it it 
the uh, Optiplex does support the PC3, you know, 12,800. But for right now, that's what I'm going to work with on this computer. Again, I'm only going to use it to hopefully I can. Um, I'll just use this as like a computer. I'm going to throw it downstairs in my in my uh, little entertainment room and use this as like a little, you know, for like movies and shit. And uh, probably to run my computer, my uh, security cameras or whatever, and uh, just use it like that on the network just to store stuff. So that's it. Thanks for watching.